We are back with the illegal handheld from Five Below. Today we're gonna be uh, tearing it down because a lot of people wanted to see what was inside this thing, what makes it tick, can it be modified, used for projects, that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna be doing real quick today. And I, I did wind up going back to Five Below, buying a couple more, just because I was like, if I accidentally break this one, I still wanna have one because maybe I wanna use it for a project, but yeah, $10 at Five Below. And I know, man, some people are like, oh, you're, you're snitching, you're snitching. Why do you have to snitch on Five Below? I don't think the, the, the snitching rules apply to companies, more to do with like, you know, people. If I was like, hey, Johnny down the street is selling these things, that would be snitching, man. But it, it, it is what it is. So this thing, it's got some notable games on it. Adventure Island, the Disney Chippendale game, Bubble Bobble. Snow Bros, Blaster Master, Caveman Ninja, uh, Qbert, Miss Pac-Man. The list goes on and on. Uh, Galaga, Galaxian, there's a lot of solid titles on here that this company, Mercury Innovations and Five Below, they, they have no right to it. And it's not surprising that I seen this handheld with games on it like this. What was surprising to me, which some people seem to be confused by, is that a reputable, legit, nationwide retail store that has tons of locations across the US is selling this thing. I thought that was nuts. And that's what surprised me. Of course, I've, I've used handhelds like this in the past. I've, you know, played with tons of different ones. It's just weird to see a company selling these in store. I mean, it was kind of a, a, a weird thing to see like Excite Bike on the front cover and what looked to be Super Mario on the back. Um, there is no Super Mario game on here. I tried going through as much as I could and I did not find Super Mario on here at all. But there's the uh, entire list of games. There are things that repeat. I just wanted to point that out. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tear this thing down. So yeah, a lot of people, as you know, a lot of people watching this video uh, where I first checked this thing out. I just uploaded it yesterday. Uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of those comments, why you snitching, a lot of downvotes, and I find it funny. It's like, come on, motherfucker. Uh, you're sitting there, why you snitching, and then you running out to Five Below trying to buy one. You wouldn't have been aware of it if I didn't make the damn video, right? And then you're going to thumbs down. I mean, I don't really care about all that, but it's still kind of damn funny. Like, it's like, are you serious? Like, you you mad because I mentioned that Five Below is selling something they probably shouldn't be selling? Like, yeah, you'll find stuff like this from... You know, third-party sellers on Amazon, uh, on eBay, on OfferUp, Macari, all over the place you're going to find stuff like this. But in an actual retail store, I thought just because it, you know, it showed like a fake Mario and maybe a, I don't know, it looks like a almost a legit screenshot from Excitebike, but it's not exactly. It's kind of cropped and whatnot, I think. Uh I thought, oh, you know, they're just doing that to try to appeal to people, right? And uh, it's just going to be a bunch of bootleg Chinese games that are kind of like that, you know? Instead of Excite Bike, it's going to be Might Bike. And, you know, it's not going to be the same graphics. It's just going to, you know, look a little different. Instead of Snow Bros, be Fire Bros, you know? Uh, that kind of thing, right? There's our membranes. So these do not look like your standard replacements that you'll get from a Nintendo controller, but there's that. It's got the little bar in the middle, a little pivot. It's a very thick D-pad. Oh, and then there's the buttons are all like woven together with, uh, yeah, that kind of looks bad. <laughs> what kind of, kind of, kind of thing are they doing here? But yeah, some cheap ass plastic. Other places sell something very similar to this. And uh, some people were mentioning like, oh, this, you can use controllers on it. Cause I was like, oh, it'd be cool if it had a port for it. And really it, it does. Cause I looked into it. I was like, oh yeah, there are other ones that will use the power port for a controller. So it, it's not just for power. It does have, you know, where it can pass data. Uh, if you have the, like there's Famicom controllers that use micro USB. If you have one of those, it works on this. So there's that, but okay, here's the, uh, the setup there, I don't know how many pins that is for the uh, the ribbon cable for the screen, but it's not soldered to the board. So that is actually a good thing. If you wanted to take this 
pop it out and um, like make a project out of it, maybe make a bigger handheld, make something with a better screen. Got nothing on the back of the board there. So let's see, this should just clip up and come out. So there's the screen. If anybody cares about the uh, numbers on the ribbon cable there, if you wanna look that up or whatever. Oh, 24 pin, there we go, okay. So there's that. Probably do something with that if you wanna do a project, but it looks like you got that big ass blob there. So that's gonna be like, this is legit just an NES clone console, uh, like a Famiclone, and it's behind that chip. And then this, I'm assuming, well, I gotta be very careful with those cables for that uh, speaker. So there's a lot of junk over there. Um, but what I'm assuming is this probably stores the, uh, the games on it. Like they just added that chip with like, it's probably like a, uh, like, cause that like 401, you could buy those cartridges and I'm sure there's a cartridge that's identical that you could pop into a Famicom or an NES that has that same list of games. And that's probably what this chip is just like an uh, NES cart, and then this is the actual NES clone. And you know, then they got everything interfaced into all that with the buttons and, and all that good stuff. Power. There it is, 2020, oh, 2022, 0101, H2001 version 1.4. So I mean, for $10, I'm not really complaining too much with this thing. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it was just surprising to see in an actual retail store that I've been to plenty of times, which I've never seen anything that I thought was suspect as far as, you know, infringing or, you know, an illegal product, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it, it was just surprising because it was not what I expected. That, that's pretty much it. Let's see if uh, we plug this back in, if, if it still works. And then I, I did see somebody like bitching that I mentioned Soldier Boy. Like, why you always blame Soldier Boy? This is Soldier Boy. It, it's just a joke. And I mentioned it once. And it's like, oh, you, you're just trying to get views by using Soldier Boy's name. Soldier, you don't get views by using Soldier Boy's name anymore. It's just not the way it works. That was 2018. Doesn't work that way anymore. Um, but that wasn't in the thumbnail or the title, so come on now. Like, use your head, use your head. It's nothing to do with Soldier Boy. It was just a joke in the middle of the video, which it's just synonymous with like this weird stuff because that's what he was doing. He was selling these weird little clone systems and then he claimed that they were licensed by Nintendo and whatnot, and they weren't. So yeah, it just becomes synonymous, Soldier Boy up. This is a Soldier Boyed up little console. He had nothing to do with the consoles other than just selling them. There we go, still works. Oh, and you got like Friday the 13th on here, which I thought was kind of funny. But there, there is a lot of um, non like copyright games, like a lot of Chinese stuff, you know, but a vast majority of the games on here are stuff like this. And then they've removed, and some of the games, like I was surprised when I saw that like licensed by Nintendo and uh, Mighty Final Fight, but a lot of them, they removed like all the copyright and, and stuff like that, which is typical of um, like Chinese companies selling this kind of stuff. But you know, it was sold in the US store, legit US store, didn't do any due diligence on it. But there you go. And then these are like the A and B button and these are the turbo version. Oh shit, Jason already. Damn, get out of here. But yeah, so these X and A are turbo, and then these are your standard. So instead of this way, it's this way. I was kind of confused by that yesterday, but there you go. Tore it down. Oh shit, appreciate you guys, bye.